Hi everyone. So lately it's been impressed on me um, to talk more about how the preservation of the sacred secretion or the super consciousness awakening practice helps you to realize your prayers, hopes um, and dreams and bring them into reality. Um, so when CSF, the Christ oil, rises back up the spine, the cerebellum receives it along with the imprints of thoughts and emotions that are carried by it. The cerebellum then deciphers it into fields of collective thought which will eventually manifest as your reality. This is why it is paramount to practice seed retention and to maintain high frequency thoughts and emotions while the moon is in your sun sign. Seeds that are spilled, whether they be physical or energetic, cannot blossom into fruit, come to fruition or manifest. Zechariah 8.12 tells us the seed will grow well, the vine will yield its fruit, the ground will produce its crops and the heavens will drop their dew. The dew is of course the amrita, the divine substance, the, the nectar of life um, that creates this internal and consequently external bliss. So doing your super consciousness awakening practice when the moon is in your sun sign, which is the true Kundalini, the inner alchemy of the saints and sages, or the sacred secretion, clears and vitalizes your mind, your reality projector like nothing else. In today's world there is a huge downplay of the divinity in man but without the neocortex we are all very psychic, very powerful and totally able to demonstrate miracles like healing and manifesting our dreams. Christ's job in healing the sick and multiplying matter was to defy reality with the mind. Governments don't survive when people are all-knowing and aware and commercialism doesn't exist when people realise their power to create reality. So there is an intent conspiring to rob people of individual thought, new hope, fresh ideas, infinite imaginings of love, peace, health, success, and radiant youth thriving because of all of these distractions. It is true and you have the power. Imagine what an initiation it was to defy physical reality and overlay it every day with a mind so powerful you can see conditions that are not there and bring them forth. Matthew 17 20 says, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, whatever obstacle is standing in your way, remove hence to yonder place, get out of my way basically, and it shall be removed. And nothing shall be impossible to you. Nothing shall be impossible to you. What does it take to realise that you are an extension of God, the I am, Je suis, Jesus? God is all. 
all mighty, all pervasive, all seeing, all knowing. And that all includes you. Manifesting your prayers takes faith, constant focus on what is expected rather than what is already seen. The void, which is the black hole of quantum physics, is the mother-father principle. It is where consciousness and energy springs from. Moving energy from the base of your spine to your midbrain cleans the brain out. Your third ventricle, crystal pool or crystal ball, becomes so clear that you can see the infinite, infinite potential that lies in you. And if you decide to subscribe to a different notion of the universe, then you will get that also. Who you are, were, and what you feel disappears. What you were worried about and addicted to disappears. Your slate is literally wiped clean in the baptismal rebirth. It's because the brain is our mechanism along with the vibration and emotion of the heart for creating tangible reality via thoughts and emotions that we have to clean it and literally become one with the spirit of purity. Good thoughts, good words, good deeds. When We have to get this reality creating organ cleaned up. Cleanliness is next to godliness, after all. Once it's purified by good practice, or God practice, whatever thought, imagining, or imagining is placed in the frontal lobe and anchored by the cerebellum, will manifest out here. Yes, every focused conscious thought will manifest in your environment in absolute clarity. I said it in the very first video I published about the sacred secretion that there is something on the other side of obedience that will make you wonder why you ever hesitated. But first, the body, mind and soul need to be powerfully aligned and purified. Physical and energetic, so thought and emotion toxins, impede the process and bring about unwanted results, including the thought that what I'm saying might not be true. None of us are perfect, of course. And becoming a master of energy and manifestation requires devotion. We are here in this university of life to grow, like seeds grow. Energy and consciousness degenerates when we aren't true to ourselves. Above all, to thine own self be true, said William Shakespeare. Thine own self, your true self, your cells and their inner powering is the essence of your being. God is the essence of your being. Goodness, love and almightiness is your real self, thine own self. Consciousness and energy are source, God. That is the core of you. 
When source gives life, it's because of a thought. Consciousness and energy keeps you alive while you sleep, but mind is absent. Consciousness and energy is the divine, the die to vines, channels, the two channels, the divine. Consciousness and energy operating through your brain, your hardware. If you became a master, you would be able to focus in on an atom and reverse the spin of electrons. Why? Because that is your divine nature. Think about Luke Skywalker having to rise the X-wing out of Yoda's swamp. It's an overcoming, a releasing to the divine, a focusing in on what can be done by source when we have faith in it, in its infinite potential. Mark 11.24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Focused consciousness is the faculty you use to evolve. To make known the unknown. That's why quietening the mind in meditation leads to pure consciousness. The brain is the vehicle, the operating system for streams of consciousness and energy, the divine, the two channels. You get exactly what you want. Consciousness and energy create reality. Consciousness, energy, and a brain creates mind. Consciousness and energy are inextricably combined. The brain does not create consciousness. It creates thought. One thought equals mind. So consciousness plus energy plus thought equals mind. So the divine coming through your operating system is mind. The brain takes consciousness and energy and creates freeze frames like photographs by thought, memorized, biochemical thought. Yes, they have chemical form, these thoughts. I've talked about this in previous videos. This is God moving in you and whatever is happening within you will happen outside you. What do you think creates imprints in the lymph water body and consequently the chromosomes of your DNA? Every thought you ever had every fear you ever had, every paranoia, every anxiety, every betrayal, but also every feeling of joy and gratitude. Every moment you are experiencing it. Even now, listening to this video, your external world is being influenced by the living power being stirred and raised within you through these life-affirming words. It is thought and emotion that imprints your lymph water body and in turn, your chromosomes and DNA. Yes, thought and emotion literally change your DNA. And if you've watched my revelation video series or read my book, Elevation, you'll know 
that the 144,000 mentioned in the book of Revelation refers to your genes. Activating, reordering and igniting your true power, your light body. Your 144,000 DNA genes. Chromo, as in chromosomes, means colour, as in the spectrum of light. Soma means body. And we've talked about soma and I recommend watching the video on soma, the subtlest form of matter that eventually becomes consciousness. Your lymph water system birthing seed DNA is your potential for rebirth. People who are weak spirited never override their genetic destiny. But those who are born with or develop a strong spirit due to chaotic childhoods and traumas of all kinds, get down to business. Your parents' genetics and emotions and the genetics of their parents before them and so on are all part of your genetics and emotions. So if your parents didn't truly believe in themselves, then this self-doubt is passed on. The difference is they were powerless to realise and accept it, but you now no. So instead of blaming them, or blaming anyone else for that matter, forgive them, empathise and sympathise with them and offer them love in their lives or in their resting places and in their reincarnations. Dream so that you can manifest the energy of the dream. Imagine so that you can coagulate that energy. This is what brings your experience. Whether you're actively aware of it or not, we create in the same way that God, divine mind, creates. God thinking creation into reality. So, if you're stuck, it's because you think it's out there. An answer, a loved one, a, a redeeming something, instead of in here. The out-to-in model is an inversion of truth, natural law. The truth is that due to divine law, all things work from the center to the circumference, the inside out, the spark. Yes, it will come back around, but the initiation is the center point that you have control over. You're bored because you've forgotten how to dream the dream. You've got to line the image up in your mind, then collapse time and feel what it's like to already be in that image. So I'll say it again. When CSF rises back up the spine, the cerebellum receives it, along with the thoughts and emotions carried by it. The cerebellum then deciphers it into fields of collective thought, which will eventually manifest as your reality. This is why it is paramount to save your seed and to maintain high frequency thoughts and emotions at the very least while the moon is in your sun sign because there is a monthly opportunity for regeneration as explained in the cell of life and in the God design. Doing your superconsciousness awakening practice, which again is the true Kundalini, the inner alchemy or the sacred secretion, clears and vitalizes 
your mind, your reality projector like nothing else. The truth is that imagining and manifesting healing like Jesus did and building radiant youth, health and wealth from within takes less of an energetic field than it does to reach out and pick up your television control. Whatever you put in your frontal lobe, be it trash or divinity, affects your energy. So I'll finish with a quote by Rampha. Joy is being the lord of the physical, not its slave. My reality is only equal to my runaway thinking. Thanks very much for watching. It's an honor to journey with you all. You can find the links to my books, course, and other resources in the description box below this video. And I really enjoy reading your comments and I do try whenever I get a free second to reply to as many as possible. Um, and if you haven't already, then please do click the subscribe button and help this video reach more of your fellow brothers and sisters in light and love. Namaste.